Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. This is going to be my what I got for Christmas tag haul edition or horse girl edition. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to call this yet. These are the horse related products that I got for Christmas and I'm excited to share them with you. I didn't get like a ton of horse stuff for Christmas. I got a lot of pajamas and stuff like that, but I didn't want to include that in my like horse tag haul for Christmas. So these weren't actually like a gift, but I did win a giveaway and these are the Aunt Angie's horse treat samplers. So there are a variety of different treats in here that kind of look like stud muffins, but they have little candies in them. I won a giveaway from my friend who has her own clothing business. So I will link my friend down below and then I'll link their website as well if they have one, but I haven't actually given these to Sassy and I'm so excited because they're just so cute. And you'll see a theme throughout this video. I have a ton of horse treats. The next item, I'll just include like pictures or a video clip and it's not necessarily like a Christmas item, but I did buy a new saddle for Christmas. I guess it was around Christmas time. I had to buy a new saddle for Sassy because mine didn't fit. And the one I bought is a Bates Caprilli all-purpose saddle and it is more of like a lighter tan color. It's not my favorite color, but since my horse is older, she will be 22 in January. And I'm not going to be doing like super high level showing with her. I'm not really too concerned about like what the saddle looks like as long as it fits her. When I get another horse in the future, I will probably buy a nicer saddle. But for now, this one is actually very nice. It's super comfy. It is an all-purpose saddle and it has a 17.5 inch seat and I'm very happy with it. And we can move on to some treats. I made homemade horse treats for the horses at my barn, but there's two ponies there that have Cushing's, so they can only have low sugar or sugar-free treats. And I did fill up their bags pretty significantly, but I have like half the bag left over. So these are the Nutra Good low sugar apple snacks. And they smell pretty good as well. So I have another bag of treats and these are, it's like halfway full, but still there's like a ton of treats in here. Moving on to more like tack related items. These are the gifts from my boyfriend. So I've been wanting a thin line bareback pad ever since I found out about them earlier this year. And it's one of the best bareback pads in the market, I believe. And he got this one on sale because I was like stalking the sales on this product. So here's the girth, but it does feel really nice and squishy. And then the actual pad looks like this. It is the Thin Line brand and it feels super comfy and squishy and I think it'll feel really nice on Sassy's back. I do really enjoy riding her bareback. I don't do it super often mostly just because I hate how dirty I get after I know it's like such a prissy horse girl problem. Usually my pants are darker and she can be kind of dusty and hairy especially because she's white. Her little white hairs get on everything, even when she's clipped. So I wanted to get a bareback pad, and I heard this one was the best one. And since she is older, I want to treat her back the best way I can. So I thought the Thin Line bareback pad would be a good option. So this is one of the presents that my boyfriend got me, so thank you, Matt. And then he also got me this fly bonnet from Equine Couture, and it is a black fly bonnet with some bling on it. This was only $15 at Dover. I haven't tried it on Sassy yet, but I think it'll fit just fine. And it does seem really nice. I've been wanting one of these for a while. Like the past few times I've gone to Dover, I picked one of these up and then I didn't actually end up buying it. So I finally picked this up and then Matt just gave it to me for Christmas. And I'm excited. I think this will be fun for showing or just maybe like some pretty pictures. And I love bling on anything. If you guys know me, you would know that I love glitter and anything sparkly. So this is definitely fulfilling that. And then the other thing that he got me, this is the last present, was a Lemieux saddle pad in the color teal. And I would have bought this like a few weeks ago myself. This was like $26 on sale. And if you guys buy Lemieux saddle pads, depending on where you get Lemieux saddle pads, they are between $60 and $80. It really just depends on the retailer. But this one, I think it was around $40 on sale. And this is the teal color. And I've been wanting to get another Lemieux saddle pad, but they have so many different colors, it was hard to choose. And then I saw this one in person and I was like, yes, this one is beautiful. I love the color blue. Teal is one of Sassy's colors, so I'm happy to have a, another Lemieux saddle pad. I do have the eggplant or the plum color, I forget the actual name of it, but it is more of like a maroon burgundy color and I love the quality of Lemieux saddle pads. My barn owner got me a gift card to a local like animal supply store, so thank you so much to my barn owner. And then she also got me these Forage First ADM Horse Rewards apple flavored treats. So I have another bag of treats and these seem a little bit healthier, so that'll be nice. 
And then the rest of my gifts are from my family, so I have more treats. These are the start to finish peppermint horse snacks, and this is huge. This is a 6.5 pound bag. I am like literally stocked up on treats. And that's not all because I have more horse treats. They also got me these start to finish apple horse snacks as well. So Sassy's gonna be stocked up on treats for a while. Next, they got me a tail tamer from Professional's Choice, and this one is super cute. So it is just like a mane and tail brush, and it's black. It's a big paddle brush, and then it has these rainbow little bristles on them. So this is super cute. My sister has been getting into horses this year, and she does ride Sassy sometimes. So she got me the best homemade horse related gifts. So I'm so excited about this. This is a little fly bonnet pom pom thingy. And I'm sure you guys have seen these like all over Facebook and probably Twitter as well. But you put this on the horse's head and it has a little pom pom on it. And I'm so excited. I wanted one of these ever since I saw them earlier this fall. They're so cute. And my sister did make this herself. So thank you so much, Jess. And then she picked up this piece of furniture and then she restored it into a tack trunk for me. And currently I have a pretty crappy tack trunk at my barn right now. It is just a storage container from Walmart and it's like yellow and gray and it's like not that cute. But she painted and restored this tack trunk and it is so pretty. So that was just super nice of her and I'm excited to bring that to the barn and put all my stuff in it. And then the final item for this tack haul, and this is also for my family, I got a back on track saddle pad. This is their therapeutic all purpose saddle pad. Hopefully I'll get this in the camera. And I just got the black color. So let me pull it out here. I've been wanting back on track items for a while now. This is the saddle pad. And this seems like such nice quality. Back on Track has like therapeutic products for horses and humans as well. And they might even have dog stuff too, but it has the label right here. It says Back on Track and I'm hoping to get more Back on Track products this year. They are just a bit pricey, so I'm going to be saving up. But this we actually got on sale for I think around $55 and it's originally around $80 or $90. So that's it for my What I Got for Christmas Tag Haul Edition. Hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. If you got any horsey related items for Christmas, please let me know down below what you got and what your favorite one was because I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a beauty channel if you want to check it out. It is Courtney K and I'll have it linked down below. Hope you guys have an amazing day and hope you had an awesome Christmas and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.